So this is the list that the hospital gave me maternal requisites. Do not use camphor on baby's clothes. And this is a list of things for baby. Two Kazakhs or Khmer's, two blankets, two pairs of booties, two hats, two vests, one pack of newborn 24s, two towels, four washcloths, baby wipes. For mother, cotton nightgown and duster preferably open down the front, I guess so you can breastfeed. One pair of slippers, panties, three packs of maternity pads, one bottle of Savlon or Dettol, toiletries, a comb or brush, toilet paper, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, etc. Four wash rags, four two towels, one fleet enema. So I went to Pennywise, which is um, a popular cosmetic store in my country, Trinidad and Tobago, and tried to decide on which maternity pads should I get. I particularly don't like fat or thick pads. I usually use thin or ultra thin pads, so it was quite daunting when I looked at all these varieties today at the store and I didn't know which one to choose. When I went online, they um, suggested they suggested maternity um, pad was ultra thin by always size number five. At the store, there was size number five, but it was frighteningly thick and I really couldn't bring myself to to buy it so I looked for other options and one that was recommended was this one overnight ultra thin by Kotex and it has 3d capture core fast absorption to draw in wetness which I prefer because I don't want to feel wet all the time so that would be which one is this this one I think so you can see it has the things there the absorbency blue and it's quite long it was wrapped very nicely individually in the package and then I have Stay Free Ultra Thin, which is a different brand, but also ultra thin, also overnight. And this is nicely packaged individually like this, so you can see it's not too thick. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Also has that blue gel inside, and it feels nice. The quality feels good in terms of it might be absorbent and keep the wetness away from me and then the last one I bought was mother's maternity pads there were a couple of other choices but um, this is what I decided to go with until I could come home look at it and try to figure out if it would be something that I could use and that would be able to absorb the amount of um, blood that would be coming out of me after birth. So this is, I don't particularly like this because it doesn't seem that it's going to seem like it's going to be super absorbent. It looks like the blood is just going to stay there and make me feel wet. When I compare them, the width of this one, which is the Stay Free Ultra Thin, I like because it's very wide. It's wider than this one. And when you compare it to this, which is the Cotex, this is the Cotex, it looks about the same width. In terms of length, Cortex seems to be just slightly longer than the others. So 
the um, Stafri seems to be the shortest of the three with the other two just looking about the same length and not much difference in terms of the stay free and their lengths so I'm definitely leaning towards maybe the this one which is the cortex if anyone else has um, problems choosing or has opinions with regard to which maternity pad might be suitable for um, postnatal use, feel free to let me know. I'm looking for suggestions. S napkins which are stay free napkins which are available in Trinidad and Tobago.